so today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make an acai bowl maybe this isn't the proper way to make an acai bowl but this is the best that I do at home <laughs> so let's get into it so first you want to grab a Nutri Ninja um, cup container the thing to put the things in to you know you know what that thing is okay <laughs> and then you're gonna grab the rubbermaid like and literally any container i use this one because everything that i make in the nutri ninja container it fits in there this is the nature valley granola protein i really like this one i think it has about 13 grams of protein and you're also going to need raw honey and then this is pineapple the pineapple looks a little dead you know <laughs> these are frozen mango pieces that i got from the store this is the triple berry blend. It has blueberries, strawberries, and raspberries. These are also frozen. This is the Sambaza Acai Healthy Original Acai Juice. This company also makes different products that are made from acai. So they have ready-made acai bowls and they also have like this type of acai juice. It's also organic like these bananas. So in the very beginning, you're going to grab your Nutri Ninja cup and you're going to fill it up with, in the very beginning, mango, the mango slices and the pineapple slices. I like to put the pineapple slices first because they're not frozen and they're easily like chopped up and they've also been chilling in the fridge for a while so they need to be gone, So if you know what I'm saying. Uh, it also has a lot of juice which is really good in um, helping the blender like mix everything together. So I put in all the mango, all the pineapple, excuse me, slices, and it looks like a lot, but it'll, in liquid form, it's way less. And then you want to go over and move to putting the mango slices in as well. I like to choose and pick <laughs> which mango slices I like because some of them are a little more ripe than others. I mean, they all taste the same, but I like to choose which ones that I put in there. Also because the mango slices are frozen it kind of acts like an ice cube which is really cool it also makes the smoothie much thicker and then once i'm done with um the frozen mangoes i just put them back in the freezer and this is the part where you kind of want to like squish everything together and make sure that the cap fits um it'll be fine though don't worry about it <laughs> yeah and that's what that looks like um, it does have a little bit of juice, which will kind of help um, mix everything together better. And also the pineapple isn't frozen, so that's a plus. You just want to mix it for about like 10 seconds just to make sure that everything is liquefied inside the Nutri Ninja. And that's what that looks like. I really like this color. I think it looks really good. <laughs> So kind of moving on to the other things that we're going to put inside, open the Nutri Ninja container and you're going to want to put the berries, the triple berry blend that is frozen, which is going to give it, which is going to give it kind of like a nice color, the acai color. And honestly, just put as many as your heart desires. <laughs> also, once you're done with the berries, you're just going to want to put them back in the freezer. You want to do this because you don't want it to melt and kind of like became, become, what? become a really big ice cube when you refreeze it. Also with the Sambaza juice, when I first started making acai bowls, I never really used it and you don't need it. I mean, I, I just called them fake acai bowls when I didn't used to, used to use the Sambaza juice, but now that I use the Sambaza juice, I guess it's real. And just twist the cap back on and that's what it should look like. It looks really cool. It looks like two different colors, but once um, the Nutrinian just starts doing its thing, it'll change into one kind of like purplish color, which is real cool. You can see the color change here. I think the way that the color changes is really cool. Part of the reason why I really like doing these acai bowls. You kind of want to balance between the frozen fruits, the thawed fruits, and the juice that you put in just because you don't want the acai bowl to be liquidy. You want it to be a kind of like, like, oh, like a thick texture when you eat it. Okay, so now that we're done actually making the acai bowl, we're just gonna kind of put it in creatively into the container. So first you're gonna, you're going to want to grab your container and you're gonna use the raw honey to kind of create like a very thin like base at the bottom. I just like to do like little zigzags. Also you can grab any honey that you want. I just used the raw honey because that's the one that I had at my house at the moment. And then you're gonna wanna put the actual acai into the container that's why I like this container because I tend to make a lot at one time and then I just kind of eat it as the days go but 
you're gonna want to eat it within the first like two to three days I like to get the most out of it because when I wash it it's so much easier to just wash it on site rather than wait and let the fruits kind of dry into the cup it'd be much harder to like scrub it off so as soon as you're done um, pouring it into the bowl like immediately go and rinse it out it'll save so much time when you have to go wash it then you're gonna want to grab your granola protein and your raw honey and those are going next this is a really good way to see if the acai bowl is thick enough if the honey once you put it on top kind of like goes to the bottom it's too liquidy but if it stays at the top it's a good thickness and so first you put your honey on top and then you put your granola on top of the honey and the acai and for some reason I just like to tap it against my thumb <laughs> because I feel that that is kind of how best to distribute the granola I like a lot I like the honey and the granola so I put a lot of it you definitely don't have to do that you could put as much or as little or none or a lot um, however you want your acai bowl to taste like I also like to grab these these are um, mini chocolate chips I honestly don't know <laughs> if these are meant to go in the oven or if you can just eat them but I like to just eat them and they are like gluten free nut free soy free this that allergen free all that so like you should definitely go check them out they're really cool and i just like to put a little of those kind of in one corner i put them if i put them everywhere like the whole thing is crunchy and i get i don't really get to like enjoy the granola as much so i just put them on one side here because i really I, I do love the country crunchy effect and then after that you're gonna want to grab your bananas and these are like pre-peeled my mom just they, she put them in the fridge because they were going bad so they're still good they're fine I just cut them in I want to say cylindrical I don't know I just cut them and then I kind of make the acai bowl look cute I try to put them like layer them one on top of the other so that it looks like kind of like a stair case type of thing just to make it look cute and there's also different ways of like kind of decorating the banana slices I just like to do it this way I've done it other ways as well where I like cover the whole entire top with banana slices but that just wasn't the vibe today also if you're doing this be careful that you don't cut yourself if you need to get a cutting board just get the cutting board like you can wash everything later or you can wash everything during it's up to you <laughs> yeah and that this is the finished product this is what the acai bowl looks like looks really cute i mean i made this a while ago but i kind of want to eat it again <laughs> um yeah and it's, it does not take a long time and i don't know about you guys this kind of replaces a meal for me i mean it has all the antioxidants and all of that stuff so i really like it i really enjoy it and enjoyed making this tutorial because I really like these acai bowls my family can attest to it that I literally eat one of these every single day probably you can also put coconut shavings on top I just didn't have them but I know that they go really really good with the acai bowl you could also put like whatever toppings on it you want I just chose these because I really like these you could also put mango slices on top if you like thaw them and then put them on top but that's it for this video see you guys in my next one Make sure to check out the Green Laugh blog at clovobrand.com. And I hope to see you guys in the next tutorial or something. Bye!